Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Technology and today in this video tutorial I will show you guys how to build your own NAS server from the scratch. So you just need to follow me, I will show you guys step by step. So at first you just need to open your browser and go to openworldmedia.org website and click on download and after that download the stable ISO file. Once it will download, you need to download the Rufus USB bootable uh, creator software on your computer. So after download ISO file and Rufus on your computer, you need to open Rufus tool and after that select your uh, USB pen drive and select the ISO file and after that create a bootable USB pen drive. And next you need to connect the Ethernet cable to your old laptop and after that insert bootable USB pen drive which I have created. And now I'll press F9 key to get the boot screen. If you are getting any error, then make sure that you have disabled the secure boot from your BIOS. After get your boot menu screen, you just need to select USB pen drive from your boot menu. After that, you need to press enter to install the open vault media. Now first you need to select the language and after that select your location. Then you need to select the keyboard layout. And now you need to type your host name. In my case, I am putting here technology. After that, you have to set the root password, which is in my case, one, two, three, you can set any as per your choice. Now you have to configure the clock. After that you have to select your hard drive where you want to install. So in my case I will install my 240 GB hard drive. Now you need to configure the package manager. You need to select the location and the website where you want to download the package. And after that skip the HTTP, HTTP proxy. After installation done, you need to remove the USB installation media and after that click on uh, press enter to continue. After get your login screen, you just need to type root your user name and the password which you have set during installation. In my case, it is one, two, three. Now I'll open my browser and enter the URL of my Open Media World server's IP. Username will be admin and the password will be Open Media World. Next, you need to click on settings page and review and check all the configuration and click save to apply the changes. Your dashboard will now look like this, where you will get all the essential information about your server, including CPU utilizations, running services, network interfaces and much more. And now I'll set up and configure storage drive for my open world media. I will first click on storage, then click on desk. After that, insert your hard drive or SSD and click on scan for our new devices. Since I don't have any external SSD or hard drive at this moment, I will use my 6GB USB pen drive instead. Next, you need to select your hard drive, then click on yes. Check the confirm option and click on yes to format your hard drive. Now choose either quick format or secure format. In my case, I will select quick format. Once the process completed, click on close. 
Next you need to go to file system option on the left side under storage. Click on create and mount file system. Select ext4 as a file system and choose the drive. In my case, I will select my USB pen drive, then click on save. Now select the file system to mount and set up user's warning threshold for your hard drive. In the tag section, enter the name to easily identify your hard drive and then click on save. You will now see a pending configuration changes notification indicating that you need to apply these changes. And finally, you can view the current user's storage and available storage. And now I'll set up the shared folder. For that, I will click on share folder and enter the name for the folder. Choose the file system you have created, set the permission and click on save. After that click on apply the changes. Now I'll create a user account. So simply go to users, then click on create a user account, then enter the username and set the password. In my case, I will use one, two, three under group select the user. Then click on save and apply the changes. Now I'll configure SMB and CIFS. So go to services, then select SMB CIFS and enable work group and click on save. After that create an SMB share, go to shares and click on create. Check the enable option and select your hard drive. Then click on save and apply the changes. Now I'll try to access the shared folder from my Windows computer. So I'll open this PC on my Windows computer. Click on map our network drive. Then enter slash slash your server machine IP address in address field. And after that click on browse. Then you have to enter your username and password which you have created. After that click on finish and now as you can see the open media wall share folder has been successfully added to my computer. And now I'll copy an ISO file to that shared drive. 
After that, if I'll go to my file system, you can see that used volume size is now showing 942 MB in use. So before ending this video, I would like to share few quick things with you. I create high quality tech related videos every day. So if you enjoy my content and want to support my work, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Also make sure check out my other videos for more helpful content. So I will see you guys on the next one next video. Till then bye bye take care.